Hi, welcome to Professional Certification Channel. Let's break down CPHU exam prep, one topic a day for focused and effective learning. Today's topic is Quality Improvement QI. Definition Quality Improvement QI refers to systematic and continuous actions that lead to measurable improvement in healthcare services and the health status of targeted patient groups. 1. Framework QI often utilizes structured methodologies and frameworks to identify issues and implement solutions. One commonly used framework is the Plan Do Study Act, PDSA, cycle, which involves planning a change, implementing the change, studying the results, and then acting based on those results to make further improvements. 2. Data driven. A cornerstone of QI is the use of data to inform decision making. Before making changes, it's important to have baseline data to understand the current state. After implementing changes, it's equally important to collect follow-up data to assess the impact of those changes. 3. Patient-centric. The ultimate goal of QI is to enhance patient care, making it safer, more efficient, and more effective. This involves not just clinical care, but also patient experience making sure that the patient's voice and preferences are at the center of any QI initiative. 4. Culture of Continuous Improvement Successful QI requires creating and fostering a culture where staff are empowered to identify and act on opportunities for improvement. It's about recognizing that there are always ways to do things better and encouraging proactive rather than reactive approaches. 5. Interdisciplinary Approach QI often involves collaboration across various roles and departments. From clinicians to administrators to frontline staff, everyone has a role to play in improving the quality of care. Interdisciplinary teams can provide diverse perspectives, which is crucial for comprehensive and effective solutions. 6. Barriers and Challenges Implementing QI initiatives can be challenging. Common barriers include resistance to change, lack of resources, time, personnel, or funds, and challenges in effectively measuring outcomes. Successful QI initiatives often require strong leadership, clear communication, and ongoing education and training. 7. Benefits When done correctly, QI can lead to better patient outcomes, reduced health care costs, improved staff satisfaction and morale and increase patient trust in the healthcare system. In summary, quality improvement in healthcare is about being committed to a cycle of assessing, implementing, evaluating, and refining practices for the betterment of patient care. This proactive mindset seeks to ensure that the healthcare system delivers services that are effective, safe, and responsive to patient needs. If you found this content informative, please like, share, and subscribe.